right now? Why is that? I just told you, I need your help. As a friend or as a cop? Both. Well, if this is official, you can tell me too. All right. It's Carmen. <laughs> what about Carmen? I think she's alive. Oh, so is Elvis. I know it sounds ridiculous. No, it is ridiculous, well, okay? Listen no, to me. You told listen me. You listen to me for a minute. I know it sounded ridiculous at first, but there are too many things going on that don't make sense any other way. Yeah, like what? We need to keep this between ourselves. Michelle can't find out about it, otherwise she'll go running off on her own. Yeah, well, you're a little late. What do you mean? <clears throat> because she's thinking the same way you are. She's got me tracking down some intern at Cedars, and she's what? working on some lead herself. Well, why didn't you tell me about because this, Because she didn't man? want you to know about what it. What the hell is wrong hey, hey, with hey, you? back off now. Carmen is alive. Michelle could be dead right now. She could be dead. Where is she? Where did she go? Hello? You ever get a feeling you can't shake like someone you love is about to jump off a high-rise. Claire, I'm really busy right now. Doing what, Michelle? I cannot stop thinking about all those questions you asked me about Carmen the night she died. Can we talk about this later? I'm off duty now, though. I can help you. Please let me help you figure out whatever you're trying to figure out, please. Look, Claire, I just don't have time right now, okay? Michelle, tell me that you're not putting yourself at risk. I, I have to go. Michelle. Hello? Michelle? Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is really, really important. I need to find the man who's in charge of this charter air service. And Sons? Yes, who and Sons? Do, do, you, do you know, do you recognize the letterhead? I'm sorry, ma'am, we're a little busy. I need some answers. Dang. Richard, Richard, I, I hear something. It's just, it's just the ground settling, though. No, 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 no. It's... Reva! Reva, it's Noah! Can you hear me? Get out! Get out of there! Richard, uh, I can handle this. Go back to Cassie. Because this is the place for either one of us, Noah. Look, she's down there, Richard. I know she is. She's not but dead. A piece of equipment we've been digging like this for hours. Dig all week if I have to, Richard. Get her out. I know she's down there. Don't look at me like I'm crazy or something, Richard. I saw, I saw the way the roof caved in. I saw the way that she fell. She's she buried under so much trouble that she can't hear us. But, but she will. I, I know she will. She's not dead. Richard. Stop. No, Richard. Get, get out of here. This place Where is, is going to go down any second. Where is she? She's down there. We don't know how far, but it's been a while. No, she's alive. Have no. you heard anything? No, we haven't heard anything. Good to see you, Josh. Reva!
going to work. We can't dig all this out with our bare hands. Just a few more feet. And then a few feet after that. Oh, it's too late. She's gone. You don't know that. The ceiling fell in on us. We're probably Ouch. killed instantly. There's no way. We have to get out of here. Olivia's right. The whole palace is unstable. One more aftershock, and the whole bloody thing is going to be What happened to her was terrible, but if we don't get out of here, we're going to be buried along right with her. You, you, you've evacuated everybody out of the palace. The last right? people here. We had volunteers here before, but I could not risk their lives any longer. You did the right thing. Nobody should be in here. Wait, wait, what are you, what are you saying? Did Josh, just leave her down there? I mean, you of all people, we can't do that. Look, if you want to march out, you do it right ahead. But I'm not leaving your hands. No one's leaving. Reva behind. Least of all me. I want you out of here. No, I'm not leaving. It's yet. dangerous here. I'm not leaving. These walls yet. could come down. Josh, if you're staying, then someone. I don't have time to argue with you about this. Richard, what resources do you have at your disposal right now? What anything? Zero. 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 The emergency crews are all occupied with other situations. We have fires breaking out all over the island, buildings collapsing, hundreds of people being trapped. The poorest areas of the country were the hardest hit, and that's where the focus is been. So it's just us. There's no one else. If we want to dig Riva out of here, I'm afraid this is it for now, barring some miracle. Okay. That's what we're going to work for, then. Well, what did the airline say? No, I, I didn't ask you what you think, Tobias. What did they say? How much rain in Dallas? You know, it takes nothing to shut that airport down anymore. But you know what? That, it, it still doesn't make any sense. Beth left Mexico hours before I did. If it wasn't a problem in Dallas, if the plane didn't... What? It did. You sure? Why, well, you didn't just tell me that. Never mind, never mind. You know what? Here's what you do. You stand by that gate. I mean, you don't get yourself a stick of gum until that plane lands. And the minute that Beth gets off it, you call me, all right? Good. You okay? No. Is there anything I can do? No. You want to go downtown for assaulting your You know what? You need to back Frank, off. Cool down. Frank, I need to know exactly what Michelle said to you. Every word. I'm not going to betray her trust. Do you understand me? You can't betray your trust. Because she Frank, told me. She told me, no? Is in danger. How do you know that? What is going on over there? Do you know? Something up, something's up with the case. But do you know what? Danny's on top of it, all right? Uh, could I get you anything? Uh, I'm not too sure. Kid, give me a hard time. Kid? You know, you're here more now than when you lived here. Must be a welcoming hospitality that keeps bringing me back. What's wrong? You got it on VCR mode. No, no, that's the volume. Well, you just know everything, don't you? For some late breaking news. A magnitude 8.2 earthquake has struck the island of San Cristobal. Damage is reported to be widespread. Buildings are down. Bridges have collapsed. Fatalities are estimated to be in the hundreds. We will keep you informed as oh, details come wow. in. He's been messing with that thing for 15 minutes. Oh, what's on the way in? Can it wait? Can we go? I need to make sure that my mom is okay, Sam. Your mom's probably sitting on the beach sipping iced tea wondering the same thing about you. Sam. All right, I just wanted to check the weather. Well, we can do it after we leave. All right, you're right, why not? <clears throat> come on, let's go hey, top. Wait, 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 wait. How long do you think that it'll take us to get there, to San Cristobal? As long as it took us to get here. Make it go faster. Sure, yeah, let me jump off the back. I'll kick and paddle. <laughs> it's not funny, okay? Hey, come on. I mean, I know this isn't even the greatest, but it got us here. It'll get us back, okay? Cedars ER. Dr. Tarver, Jennifer Tarver, 
When? When did she disappear? The night that Carmen was shot. She figured if she was injured, she was going to need medical oh, attention. Wait, this has got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Carmen Santos is not back from the dead. I don't have time to explain to you why this makes sense. I have a wife to worry about. Frank, you know how much Carmen hated Michelle. Enough to frame her for murder. Enough to kidnap her. Enough to put a gun to her head. Now, if Carmen is alive and Michelle's looking for her, I don't need to tell you what that means. Think. Where did Michelle tell you she was going? I told you I don't know, but she was <laughs> in a hurry. Well, I got to stop her. said you were looking for me? You're Harry Anderson of Anderson and Sons um, Flight Service? The one and only. Aren't you going to answer that phone? Uh, no. This is more important. Um, I need to know who used your service the week or two following November 14th. You want information on my private clients? Get real. Wait, uh, wait, please don't go. I, I re really need your help. I'm, I'm desperate. I, uh, I... Uh... Miss, are you okay? Uh, it's just that it's, it's my mother. Uh, well, at least I think she is. Your mother? I'm adopted, and uh, I never really met my real mother, but I've been trying to find her for the last year. And I, I really need to find her, because I, I, I have this medical condition, um... And we haven't been able to find a match, and I really need a, a donor. And uh, I have children, and I can't leave them. I just don't want to die. Please, she's my only chance. Please. And you think your mother... Hired your plane to take her somewhere, and she may have been um, injured at the time. You would remember, though, she has really dark hair. It's, it's almost black, a beautiful face. Look, if you remember anything, I mean, I, 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 need, I need to find her within this month. Please, come on. Just don't say no. Don't say no. Don't say no. Okay, I, look, I can see how important this is yes, to you. Yes. Just wait here. Let me go check my records. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Carmen, I'm getting close. Frank, this is bad. Michelle isn't answering. Maida hasn't heard from her. Now we need to track her down, and I need your help. I'm sorry, I'm just not buying into this. What is I will look for this in turn. Oh, come on, Frank, don't tell me Wait. you're believing this guy. Well, yeah, he, he might be right about one thing here. If Carmen is alive, then Michelle's in serious danger. Carmen Santos is not alive. Danny's pulling a stunt on you here. He's a desperate man trying to make sure that he doesn't go down for murder. You confessed yourself, you testified in court that you shot your mother, you chained her up, and you threw the body into the lake. Right, and the body that you geniuses dragged out wasn't hers. So what does that make you think? Or are you so excited to see me fry that you've got blinders on? No, I don't have on blinders, I but I guarantee you when you will go down, Frank, I'll be right there. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Both of you knock it off. Maybe we are jumping to conclusions here. Oh, maybe? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to check this out. We are jumping to conclusions. What does that the mean? The wrong ones. What? What does that mean? If Carmen is alive and Michelle is suddenly getting all these clues pointing to that, then it's intentional. Look, Frank, I know my mother better than anybody. She covers her tracks. And if Michelle's suddenly onto her, then it's on purpose. Oh, what are you saying? What, she's luring her in? It's a trap. All right. I'll check it out. Are you coming? No. I got a few phone calls to make. I'm going to hang out here. Mm. You hear anything, you yeah, call I'll me. Wait. Yeah, not like last time. Answer your phone. Been a long day. It's going to be a longer night. Yeah, I know the feeling. Oh, I haven't heard from Harley, so I don't know what the hell's going on. So, instead of staying home and boring myself completely into a deep stupor, I thought I'd come here and just drown all this joy I'm feeling with a glass of seltzer water. Knock yourself out. Have you heard from Harley? I got an email. Yeah, last time I heard from her, she found me at company and told me she was leaving. Oh, so she came and found you at company to tell you she was leaving? 
Yeah. Oh, well, that was nice of you. See, I just ran into her at the airport by accident. I had a message waiting for me at home. Yeah. I've been in her face. I'm sure she felt that she was Rick, forced to leave. don't defend her. I'm Holly. not defending her. And what difference does it make who she talked to last, what letter she wrote last? It doesn't matter. The bottom line is she's gone, right? So much for father's rights. Well, it's about time. Haven't seen you guys around here in a while. Shall I bring you the usual? Sounds great. What a joke. There's been nothing usual around here lately. and go. Got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lou, it's Josh Lewis. I am glad to hear your voice. Not as glad as I am to hear yours. We've got major problems here on the site. Just, 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 just listen to me, Lou. Are, are, are all of your men accounted for? Yes, yeah, the men are okay. We were working when the quake hit. Did some heavy damage to the main okay, structure. forget about that. Forget about up. it. Forget about it. I want to know about the equipment. Uh, tools, trucks. Is everything all right? Yeah, well, we're good to go. Listen, it's a wreck down here. I don't a damn about that. I need you here at the palace. Can you handle that? No, we can, but what do you want to do about the site? Life or death, Lou. Get all your earth moving equipment. Get it all over here. Everything you got. So how else that really damaged is the harbor? Oh, what did Lou say? Oh, so what if there's another aftershock that... You can't afford this. I can't afford this. Okay, no. Um, you know what? I'll call him. I'll call him myself, Kathy. Thanks. Lou, come on, what are you doing? Just get them here as quick as possible. Great, thanks, I owe you one. They're on their way. How soon do they get? Half hour, maybe maybe an hour at the most. Uh, how many men are we talking about? Uh, maybe maybe two dozen, maybe a little more. I'm going to use half of them to shore up this place, and the other half will get Reeve out of here. We're going to get her out of here no matter what. Lou, hi, it's Olivia. I've been trying to reach you. Listen, I can't talk right now. I'm taking my men and heading over to the palace. He'll do no such thing. But Josh just called. He told me... I don't care me... what Josh told you. You stay there and do your job. Do you have any idea how much money is wrapped up in this project? To hell with the money. Memory. Quick, then, then you think... She might be... Yeah, there was this woman. Uh, she wanted to go to Canada, but I can't remember where. Wait, 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 here it is. Oh, you were right. Two weeks to the day from November 14th. Where did she go? Bear Lake, Canada. Okay, I've never heard of that. Yeah, you and everybody else. It's a remote area, not much there at all. Some place that someone would go if they wanted to disappear. This is that kind of place. How soon can you get me there? Ross, it's Danny. Have you heard from Michelle? 
Well, that's it. It's the third time in a row for that bulletin. I didn't know that St. Christopher was even on the fault line. I know that anyone did. You know, Anna's going to be all right. You know, she's a fortress or a, or a palace. It's been there forever, right? Right. I'm right, right? Oh, well. Uh, well, uh, hmm. I have a message for you from Johnny Machado. Let's talk about this someplace else, huh? Watch what you see in front of people, okay? Been around for a long time. I know my business. Yeah? Well, I don't want Catalina mixed up in it, all right? You understand? There's been an earthquake in San Cristobal. I know. Then you also know that we have a problem. The family has an interest in the Harbor Project. There's been no word on how it pulled out. Well, you know what? Whatever damage there is, we'll put the money someplace else. Johnny wants you to go check. Go down there? There's no way. You can't even get inside. The airports are all closed. But there's a will, there is a way. I'm not Johnny's errand boy. Okay, if he wants to have a look-see, he can send his own guy. I'm not going to San Cristobal. You got that? I think you should go. I think my belt is going to hold on the steering wheel while we check the weather. It's like a check. We're just going to bring up the deck. I know. Well, I want to make sure it's just raining. That's a big word. Oh! No, it's not just happening. Forget about the radio. It doesn't take more than an hour for us to get sick. We'll be okay. I know we will. I just wish I could say the same thing about my mom. Listen, your dad is the best at what he does. If anyone can get Reva out, it's Josh, and you know that. And I'm just glad we're here and we're not in Springfield because it'd be ten times worse not knowing. Some things are meant to be. Yeah. I wanted to make Tony jealous. It all seems so stupid now. I have this whole plan for him to come down here after me. And what happens? An earthquake hits. I see my mom with my very own eyes get buried. Why do I have to play these stupid, silly games? And I could have lost my mom. She could die. You know, shh, stop. Don't talk like that. We'll have none of that, all right? What if I had succeeded, too? What if Tony had come down here and he got hurt? Worse. I couldn't live with that. I Mar, couldn't live with my Mar, listen to me. You are scared, and you're feeling very guilty about your mom, and because you ran back in after Tony's necklace. <laughs> your mom, she's got her eyesight back, and Tony's fine. <laughs> so you can't put all the blame on yourself. Do you hear me? some reversal shock from the earthquake. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Oh, what was that? Oh, my God. What? It's a storm, a big one. And we're right here, I love it. Um... Did I just hear you right, Olivia? Did you just order Lou to keep his men at the site, the men that I need here to rescue Reva? Look, I don't know if you've heard, but the damage at the harbor is overwhelming, Josh. The, 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 the foundation is nearly collapsing. Those men you used to Those stay Those men need oh. to be here. How dare you? There's a life at stake. What are you thinking? A life? Yes. Do you really think she's alive under all of that, Josh? She's dead, all right? She's dead. Don't say that. She is dead. I'm not trying to hurt you. God knows you must be dying inside, but I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Look at this place. There is no way that anyone survived that. And I can understand Noah going into that rubble, digging like there's some kind of hope, but you know somewhere inside you know. I don't you know a know damn thing. I don't dead. know a damn thing, and neither do you. She might be alive down there. She might be unconscious. She might be hurt, she Olivia. Might she might be dead. She's dead. And now you want to get the only crew that we have over here to prove it to you. 
I don't want to be cold about this, but you didn't hear what I heard. We are about to lose everything that we have worked so hard for, everything that's going to take us to the next level. Those men need to stay there, do their jobs, because if they don't, then we lose everything. You're talking right, we will about never recover a from job. This job. A lousy job! Something I wanted nothing to do with in the first place. I'm talking about a life. Reva's life, the mother of my children. I'm talking about our life. I'm talking about us. I am drunk and save us. And now you just want to throw that all away for what? Because you have some morbid need to dig up a corpse? Who the hell are you? I'm you. I'm the woman who loves you. I am your future. I am not your past. Those men are coming here. And we are going to get Reva out. Do what you need to do. What did you say? I said do what you need to do. I'll do the right thing. I'll go down to that harbor. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will get people, I will get tools, and I will dig that project. I will save it. I'm going to save us, Josh, whether you like it or not. Back. No, you can't leave me down. Listen to me, I have to get to that wheel. That's our only chance. No, I'm going with you. Stay here. You'll be safer here. Trust me, Mara. I can get us through this, but I have to go topside right now. Go. Oh. Oh, Sam. Oh. Sam. Come on. Get out, Sam. Come on. Sam. Oh, my God. You must go to San Cristobal, Tony. It's your business. It's what you do. And how do you know about my business down there? I'm around you all the time. Of course, I know your business. You think I should go down? I want you to do what you think that you should do. Oh, no matter what it is. If you're in charge, you need to see with your own eyes, right? What is going on here? Huh? No, I know that this sounds strange coming from me. But, but I'm not going to pass judgment. I... I want you to be happy. You do well to listen you... to that. You're hesitating. You're hesitating because of Mara. Because you don't want to run into her. That's why you didn't go after her the first time. But that's over. It's over. I know you, Tony. You can handle this. You know, this is the last conversation I ever pictured having with you. But you see things pretty clearly. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I know I'm going to go to San Cristobal. I'm going to take a seaplane to get down there, whatever. But I'll be there. Just, just be careful, okay? Please be careful. Don't worry. I'm coming back. You were wonderful. That was masterful. You think that was an act? You think... You think that was calculated? <laughs> Too many people look at me and think I... am an old, foolish woman. <laughs> Do you really think so? Of course not, Mrs. Santos. I don't see you as old. <laughs> Look, if uh, talking about Harley is going to cause yet another argument, uh, then we should just drop it. Because um, I certainly got enough problems of my own. Well, I can second that. So how's... Uh, that's better. <laughs> uh, 
expect at the moment is MIA. What do you mean? She's missing. She went down to Mexico to get a divorce from Edmund. Apparently, she's leaving without one. She's supposed to be on a plane on her way back here right now. So you don't think she's gone? Mm. This doesn't feel right, any of it. Edmund found out that she was down there and he followed her down there. By the time I could get there, I could get a straight answer out of anybody. All they would tell me is that she had changed her mind and wanted to go home. So you got a plane and you followed her to Mexico? Yeah. You found out that Edmund was there? You're damn right I did. He's desperate. <clears throat> I've seen his work when he's desperate. And you know Bev, all he's got to do is give her a sob story. What? Nothing. No, what? Nothing. Don't say nothing. What? Maybe, just, just maybe this isn't your problem. Phil, if you got your kids home, they're safe and sound. I mean, if Beth wants to follow Edmund around, let her do just, it. I should just let her do it? Really? Is that what you think you would do? I don't know. Sometimes it's just better to back off. Let people solve their own problems, let them sit with their own choices? Sure. Even if it's obvious that they're hurting? Sometimes. Well, gee, wouldn't it have been nice if it was one of those times the night that Harley was hurting and you decided to crawl into bed and comfort her? Can't fly you to Canada, but I've got a plane in Montreal. What's this? Now, it's a business class ticket to Montreal. And when you land, my guy will meet you and uh, fly you the rest of the way to Bear Lake. You're gonna have one of your pilots meet me? It's the least I can do, considering the circumstances. I can't believe that you're gonna do this for me. I, I'm gonna finally see my mother. Thank you. Uh, thank uh, you so much. If you want to thank me, you'll get a move on. That plane's about to board. Now? Yeah, check the ticket. Now, uh, I gotta get on the phone and call my guys in Montreal. Good luck. Great. What now? Look, I, I don't want to be a pest, but... Michelle, you are acting very strangely and obviously consumed with something that I really would like to help you with. I think, aren't two heads better than one? Claire, I told you. It's a bad time, I know, but you know, anything to do with Carmen is always a bad time. I didn't say this was about Carmen. But it is, isn't it? Michelle? I knew it. Michelle, talk to me. Flight 202 to Montreal is boarding through gate 17A. Boarding through gate 17A, flight 202 to Montreal. I have to go. Michelle, why are you at the airport? Look, I'll tell you everything when I get back, okay? When you get back from where? What are you, where are you going? I'll call you later. Sorry. It's okay. Not now, Claire. I think you better listen to this. Um, look, I, I don't know what she's up to, but... Michelle is looking into something. Something about Carmen. What, I, have you been talking to her? Where is she? I think she's on her way to Canada. What? I was just talking to her on the cell phone, and I heard this announcement in the background saying, Flight 202 to Montreal. Well, she's at the airport? Well, I don't know if she has... Maybe she hasn't left yet. I don't know, but I, I tried calling her back. I'll keep calling her. If you reach her, you've got to stop her. What is going don't on? Don't clear. Don't let her get on that plane. Something wrong with the burger? Sam, wake up! Come on! Come on, we're gonna die! Where? 
Two dozen men outside. Just tell me where you want them. Have a good year. Ground zero. Get them in here right now. We're gonna get her out. We're gonna get her out. <laughs> I have to find something to make some noise with. I need to get on this plane. Uh, not without Excuse a me. ticket. No, I don't want to go to Montreal. My wife is... I need to get my wife... Fine, fine, fine. Sell me a ticket. Just hurry up. Here. Um, okay. You better hurry. Thank you. Springfield PD, I'll take that. David! Look, give it David! Give me David, Michelle is on the here. plane. I need to get her Yeah, off. no, you're trying to shit me. That's what David. you're trying to do, okay? No. Look, Carmen is setting up yeah, Michelle. Yeah, the same thing no, you know, I told you before. Okay, listen, I'm gonna need you to Fine. calm down, so you okay? get her off the plane oh, right now. You're trying to get another plane. David! Listen, I'm gonna take you down. Michelle! Wait a minute. Michelle, get off the plane! Wait until you see all that Canada has to offer. Sorry, Carmen. I didn't take the bait. This has been Guiding Light. One man's arms. I'm Ernst Brooke.